welcome to my browser wars video. Today I'm going to show you how to use a website called Peacekeeper to determine which browser works best on your computer. Today I'm going to be testing Google Chrome Beta 9.0, Mozilla Firefox 3.6.13, Mozilla Firefox 4.0 Beta, Opera 11.0, Safari 5.0.3 and Internet Explorer 9 Beta. So we'll begin by going to the Peacekeeper website. Now before I begin the test, I'm going to turn your attention to this up here. If you don't want to uh, benchmark each of your browsers, it does take a little bit of time, then you can press this link here to look at average information for many users to get an idea of the best browsers. Okay, so if we go back to the Peacekeeper homepage, you begin by pressing benchmark your browser we wait for it to load press ok to any error messages that come up now it analyzes your system first to determine the state of it and then it begins a selection of tests the first one is rendering these tests measure your browser's ability to render and modify specific HTML elements used in typical web pages. I forgot to say that it's best to have uh, only this open when it's doing it. Try not to have any other programs open. Okay, the second test is social networking. Social networking sites use JavaScript to provide navigation, forms, and other features. These tests measure typical web page functions such as loading, sorting and searching for data. Complex graphics is number three. These tests use Canvas, a new web technology for drawing and manipulating graphics without external plugins. Canvas is not yet supported by all the major browsers so the scores from these tests are not included in the overall Peacekeeper score. You see it's now testing out quite a high quality game visual. data is number four and that doesn't take very long at all literally immediately and then after that is DOM operations number five DOM or document object module is the standard API JavaScript which uses to create dynamic web pages and these tests emulate the methods used to create a typical dynamic web page and text parsing is number six these tests measure your browser's performance in typical text manipulations such as using a uh, affinity filter so once the process is finished took about four minutes on my system. It gives you the number of points that that web browser received. And now I'm going to benchmark another browser to show you how to do that. So you press this and you double click it. Either press Control C on your keyboard or right click and copy. So copy that URL. Then minimize the current browser we have open. Make sure you don't close it though. Now I'm going to open Mozilla Firefox 3.6.13 is the next one I'm going to test. And then paste that URL into your address bar with Control V or right click and paste. And then wait for that URL to load. And then here it is. So as you can see it's now appeared with Firefox here but we have no data yet so then you press this button benchmark this browser and the process will begin again for that browser okay so I'm just gonna skip along all the tests now so you can see the final results so after performing the tests for all six of these browsers this is the results I collected now Google Chrome scored best on my system and that's the one I use at the moment just with Firefox sometimes uh, next one down is Opera 11.0, next Safari 5.03, and the Firefox 4.0 Beta. And I was surprised to see Internet Explorer actually performed better than Firefox 3.6 on my system. I was surprised there. And if you press each one, another window of the details of uh, how it's worked out. There's an average of all these results. And you can see what part it performed best in. As you can see Google Chrome perform best on the data side of things. And also don't forget that there are many factors that go towards choosing the best browser for you. For instance Firefox is definitely the best browser if you really like 
lots of different add-ons. Google Chrome has add-ons as well, but definitely not as much as Firefox. So, remember that the results that the website collects for your computer may be quite different to the results that were shown in this video. I hope my tutorial on how to use Peacekeeper will help you to choose the best browser for you. Rate and comment, and please feel free to subscribe if you found my video useful. Thanks for watching.